Hello there! In this video, I'm gonna show you how I converted this trashed patio swing into something my family loves and uses every single day. I began by measuring how long the longest pieces would be. The boards I use for this bench are the cheapest 1x4s I could find. After making the first cut, I wanted to verify that this length was correct. This length was perfect, so then I proceeded to cut the other 9 boards. These boards were in rough shape, so I wanted to sand them down to make sure they were smooth enough to sit on. I made sure to sand all four sides of each board. My choice of stain for this project was this dark walnut ferrothane wood stain. This stain alone is not enough to fully weatherproof the swing, so I purchased this spar urethane. It comes in three different finishes. My Home Depot only had the clear gloss, so that's what I chose. This spar urethane will fill in all the pores in the wood and will make it completely waterproof. I chose this rust -Oleum Ultra Cover Paint Plus Primer. I wanted the swing to be brown and green. I then proceeded to measure out the 2x3s. The 1x4s will be sitting on top of these 2x3s. I cut a second 2x3 and kinda guessed where these boards would go. You might have noticed that these boards are shinier than in the previous shot. In these shots, they are already covered with the spar urethane clear gloss. I chose this 3.5 inch galvanized bolt to fasten the two boards together. The overhang of the top board was about 1 inch, and I made sure that the other side had the same distance.
I used some of the smaller pieces I had as spacers so that the distance between the boards was even on both sides. I would drill a hole, insert the bolt, realign the spacer, and then repeat for each board. So here's what it looked like with the two edge pieces. And then I kind of also estimated where the two middle supports would go. I then tried to center the two middle boards as best as I could, and here I already started lining up the back support. The sitting portion of the swing is made out of 1x4s, and this is just plain lumber, the cheapest kind you can buy at Home Depot. The braces you can see back there, and on the bottom here, are 2x3s. The swing itself is actually only attached in four different locations. The first of which is here. This bolt goes through the 1x4, the 2x3, and then on the other side, I simply have a conduit little bracket. And this bolt goes through the wood and through the bracket. On the other side, it's attached with a simple wood screw. So I've got it attached like that here and over there. Nothing's attached here. Nothing's attached over there. And the back, nothing's attached here. I've got a smaller little clamp here and another one there. I found out the angle that I needed to cut here and then these two 2x3s two are just being held in with two pocket screws. One on this side, one on the other side. And I have the same thing here, here, and then those two as well. And here's the swing about a year later, still in great shape and holding up to the weather really nicely.